Good morning all. In this video, I am discussing the thermogravimetric analysis of calcium oxalate dot water or CaC2O4 dot H2O. On the last class, we discussed about the instrumentation part. Let us record the instrumentation. The first thing is that there is a power source which is connected to a temperature programmable furnace. Inside that there is a sample holder in that we are putting this sample. And next to uh, the environment uh, controller unit provide the suitable environment for the analysis. And when this power is be supplying to the instrument, the instrument become heated at uh, according to the program which uh, which is given to the instrument then the temperature sensor measure the temperature regularly at the same time the thermo balance measure the temperature sorry the weight or mass of the substance then both the data will be given to the amplifier then the amplifier given to the uh, output and the output which is obtained from this TGA is known as thermogram in this class we are discussing the thermogram or the output of cac 2 of water h2o or calcium oxide actually we know that thermogram is a plot between temperature versus weight thermogram contain or which consisting of mainly two parts there is a horizontal there is a steady part and there is a curve part. Steady part indicate that the compound is steady during that temperature. Which means the compound is stable. In curve nature means that the curve is mainly due to there is a weight change or mass change during the interval of temperature which means that compound if it's a negative curve or if you is a uh, weight is decreasing which means some compound is eliminated from the compound which is that compound is unstable may it undergo some decomposition reactions the scientists take uh, the thermogram or thermogrammetric analysis technique which effectively or uh, example calcium oxalate that is cac 2 o Let us move to that. Uh, first of all, we have to study the um, calcium equation that is cac 2 o or CH2O. Uh, just I am explaining the thermogram. I am marking the seven uh, points as this is the initial temperature as A, then the temperature 100 which is B and the temperature 226 degrees Celsius as C, then the temperature 346 degrees Celsius as D, 420 degrees Celsius as E, 660 degrees Celsius as F, and uh, 840 degrees Celsius as G, and uh, 980 degrees Celsius as H. These are the different parts of uh, thermogram. In this, uh, then we are uh, the experiment is ca carried out. We know that we are give uh, we are taking a five to ten milligram of calcium oxalate and we are putting it in the the uh, sample holder which is placed inside the uh, temperature program on the surface. The is environment controller unit provide the suitable environment for the estimation or experiment or for the heating process. When uh, then we just we are dealing or we are discussing the thermogram only or the plot which between uh, this uh, weight versus temperature. If then I am dividing this uh, curve into some regions that is uh, region A, B, B, C, that is uh, region A, B, B, C, C, D, D, E, uh, D, E, E, F, uh, F, G, G, H, S. Just study each and every regions. In the region A to B or up to the temperature 100 degree, we can say that the curve is a steady curve or it's like a straight line. Which means from the room temperature to 100 degree Celsius, there is no weight loss. There is no weight loss means there is no component is eliminated from that so we can see that in the region a b the calcium oxalate monohydrate is stable 
okay from the component but from the point from b to c this is curve bc is this not a straight curve or a straight line here this is a curve which means from b to c there is we can see that there is mass changes happen then the scientist studied what is the reason for this weight change or the mass change then uh, from other experiments or from the investigation it is clear that calcium oxalate contain water molecule occluded water not occluded water some amount of water so it will be eliminated from the calcium oxalate crystals at 100 degrees celsius to 226 degree so uh, by equations we can say that the reaction taking place at uh, between bc is caco2o4.7h2o at 100 degree to 226 degree it become calcium oxalate caco2o4 plus h2o and that h2o is gets a mark a para which means it is eliminated that is why we discuss on the region bc Compound is unstable, it is decomposed and eliminate water molecule. Then again, the curve CD, this is a straight line, which means the calcium oxalate is stable between the temperature 226 degree to 346 degree Celsius. But again, uh, on uh, the region between D and E, again, uh, the, there is a mass change. Then um, from the equations it is clear that calcium oxalate, oxalate may group become decomposed to or it become converted to calcium carbonate by releasing carbon monoxide. So calcium oxalate will decompose into calcium carbonate and carbon monoxide is the chemical reaction which is taking place between B E region. So you can see that between D E calcium oxalate is dissociate and its the compound is unstable and which dissociate to form calcium carbonate and eliminate carbon monoxide. This is take place in presence if this if oxygen is taking place uh, or if the exist which means that if environment controlling unit do not provide any inert atmosphere it provide a normal atmosphere the eliminated molecule is CO2 then we get very confused. So that is the importance of environment control unit that is not belongs to this topic. Just leave it. I am just hinting only. So in this in the region D, E, we, it is clear that between the region D and E, the carbon monoxide molecule is eliminated along by the formation of calcium carbonate. Then if you go gone through the region E, F, you can see that there is no mass change which means calcium carbonate is stable up to EF or up to 660. So we can say that we can keep that or if uh, 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 up to 660 the, the application will be discussed later. Then from the region EFG the calcium carbonate 660 degree uh, the, the carbonate dissociated into calcium oxide and the carbon dioxide. From G onwards to H, that is approximately 980 degree, the calcium oxalate has no change, which means the compound is ultra stable. That is, calcium oxalate is highly stable. So, this is the thermogram of calcium oxalate. Then we think what's the use of uh, this thermogram? We are carried out in, uh, an experiment in which we are using a uh, catalyst as, uh, or a component as CaCO3 as a supporting component. It does not have any chemical change. And um, there is two experiments. The one experiment will be carried out at 300 degrees Celsius and other experiment is carried out at 100 degrees Celsius. Sorry, 1000 degrees Celsius. Shall we use CaCO3 in both cases? No. In first case, it is the reaction is carried out at the temperature at 300 degrees Celsius, which means calcium carbonate is stable. It becomes unstable from 660 onwards only. But if we use the same CaCO3 in an experiment contained, uh, which is carried out at 1000 degrees Celsius, 
at 660 degree onwards the calcium carbonate become decomposed will produce CO2 which will affect the results so from this thermogram we can see that the compositions may con from here it is CaO then it is plus CO2 will produce CaCO3 from then it is combined with the CO with which is with calcium oxalate then it um, if uh, H2O is along with that then calcium oxalate which you can see that the compound which consisting of calcium oxalate consists the molecular formula can be say that CaC2O4 dots H2O which means calcium is be there oxalate is be there there is a water molecule is be there so we can predict what are the composition of the compound so this that is the main applications let us discuss the AB means the calcium oxy AB is a straight curve that means that the calcium oxalate is a monohydrate and which is a stable molecule up to the region AB and BC compound is unstable so it undergo decomposition will produce H2O uh, unstable decomposed to eliminate water on the region CD CD means there is the straight curve which means the calcium oxalate is a stable one DE DE means from 346 to 420 degree Celsius calcium card uh, oxalate is dissociate and it is unstable which is dissociate from calcium carbonate and which uh, at the same uh, simultaneously it eliminates CO and uh, be between the region um, uh, EF there is the calcium carbonate is stable uh, that is EF the calcium carbonate is stable then from the region FG the mass changes happen that is due to the elimination of CO2 it is explained by the equation Fg calcium carbonate is at unstable and dissociate to produce calcium oxide and eliminate carbon dioxide from calcium 840 degrees Celsius onwards it is stable so up to the region H so the compound is stable this is the thermogram of calcium oxalate this question is a very important question so uh, study well have a nice day